Instagram comments are foul. They they're foul. Instagram comments, it's it's getting bad. It's getting bad. So you know how you learn in school, if you don't have nothing nice to say, then don't say nothing at all. Well, this doesn't apply to Instagram. On Instagram, it's the opposite. If you don't have nothing nice to say, then just say it. Instagram comments are slowly becoming like Xbox lobbies. It's getting that bad. People are just saying whatever they want. And it's just like, you realize you are on your personal profile with God first in your bio and your whole family and your pictures. And you're saying these slurs on this on Instagram. So a while ago, I had commented on a reel. This is my first comment too. I never comment on anything, but something kind of took over me. It's sort of like an impulse. And I didn't even think about it. I just replied to this reel and it was about a cat looking sad. And I commented, oh, he looks so sad. And the cat was, it was a black cat. I'm just gonna say it was a black cat. So this person replied to me in the comments, he's sad because he's black. Sir, what? And then he replied later after that, don't Aww. worry, it was a joke. I'm tolerant. What? So uh, blatant racism is just okay in the comment section now. And this is before like reels became like really popular, but then reels came along and something happened with Instagram. I don't know if the people from Twitter came to Instagram, but something happened to where the comment sections, no matter <laughs> who you are, People are commenting whatever they feel like it. Uh, I watched Jujutsu Kaisen and I found this. What is, what is wrong with you to comment that? I mean, like, it's kind of like fair enough because it's Toji, but, or Chozo, but. What is wrong with you, genuinely, to sit there and comment that? To sit there and think about to even have that in your mind to comment that. What is wrong with you? But it, it gets worse. It definitely gets worse. <laughs> and I curated a whole playlist of like reels I found over time, Instagram posts I found over time with some of the craziest comments. And there's probably even more comments now because I made this playlist a while ago and people have been commenting on the post. So these comments are gonna get far worse than what you already seen. And we're gonna go over them. And so it's kind of like a brand new reaction to it because I'm scared of what I'm gonna find. I'm scared if I'm able to even post it on YouTube because it's it's crazy, it's wild. The thing I wanna kinda of make clear with Instagram now is there's a lot of people on a platform that are rage baiting. And for you, those of you who don't know what rage baiting is, rage baiting is basically just trolling. It's trolling and trolling gets you likes, comments, and views. So a lot of people on this platform troll a lot and they get comments and a lot of these comments are really negative for instance, I want to point us toward this creator named Husband Mills, and this is a wife who cooks for her lovely husband who works 10 to 12 hour shifts. And just look at the oh beautiful God. meal she's cooking. So. You have leftover grease, and she adds like Big Macs, onion rings, chips sometimes, or dino nuggets. And sometimes she even cooks for her six month old son, her baby. It's so sweet, guys. Isn't it sweet? What the heck is wrong with you? This woman is cooking new food in the whole place. She's cooking whatever she can in Greece. And apparently it's for her husband who's going to an oil rig or going to the Marines for his 12 hour shift. Obviously it's satire, but when I first found this post on my reels, I was just like, she's trying to, is she trying to end this man to get on the wheel? What is going on here? Because that's the only thing I can think of. The other creator we're gonna look at is a model she's a model in new york city and she's really pretty actually uh but i believe she's rage baiting like really hard and i don't know if she's in the right category to be doing that because if you're a model doing this i don't understand so i can't actually tell if it's satire or if this girl is actually like just really confident uh i'm gonna have to go with satire because i hope so because the comments she's getting on her post really crazy and so i'm going to show you the post she makes because i believe she's rage baiting and the comments are hilarious so this first post we have is lindsay lohan and she ca captioned it who's prettier and so she shows lindsay Ho lohan and then she shows herself like i said i hope it's satire so we go to the comments the first comment on this post is you're such a pick me then Someone else replied, the white. 
you have not you uh racial slur girl who are you so like i said i definitely hope this account is satire because to get these replies and if she actually believes in her posts and they're not satire it's really sad because she posts a lot like this she did another one where she said who dressed better she shows herself and then she proceeds to show the performer on stage who i think is Nicki minaj and the comments say you can't be serious so i can't actually find it and i'm too lazy to look for it but she did a post where she was like it's hard being the prettiest in a room and i'm sure you can just guess the comments for it so it's account like these that you actually run to the comments because you need people to knock them down a couple notches and you actually need the negative comments but there's some people who post on here who aren't looking for negative comments and the negative comments find them and then you have creators like this. This is Official Yeti Gang TV on Instagram. And he posts himself eating food or trying new food. And as you can see in this post, he's very excited. Very excited. Uh, what the heck is wrong? So he's obviously a normal person because if you go to the top of his feed, you can see he talks normal, but he's obviously putting on a sort of character and performance for views. And rage baiting, trolling, basically, because it gets him a lot of views. But the comments on his posts, it's just, I don't know if it would be worth it. Because going home after filming something like this and seeing the comments, having this as my job, and seeing comments like this that say, Rosa Parks refused to give up her seat, and up in heaven she sees you doing this. The F wrong with you, my boy. <laughs> Grown man, this is how that fan cart got me. This funny AF y'all hating. Is it really funny? I mean, the first couple of times it would be funny, but he's been doing this for like a year now or a couple years. So it's like, what's what's happening? This is the type of stuff Cat Williams be talking about. The comments, they're crazy. With this, like I said, we have people who post genuine content or at least I hope it's satire and people are actually just falling for the trolling. Uh, for instance, you have this person here who says, obesity has nothing to do with food. When I started seeing the patterns of when I was overeating, when I was in my car, fast food hiding the proof, and let's not get confused when sometimes we eat too many warm cookies, overeat at a delicious restaurant. I'm talking about when I'm eating, continue to eat because something happened. So obviously this person's talking about overeating and like the post is very vague. She says obesity has nothing to do with food. Uh, it does have to do with food, but she could have specified like more of like overeating and the type of foods you eat. But... <laughs> People in the comments, they don't feel the same way she does about anything, so. We have this person that says, cigarette addiction has nothing to do with nicotine. Gun violence has nothing to do with guns. Deodorant has nothing to do with India. That's actually wild, it's not funny. That's not funny. Who's laughing? There's nobody here laughing, except you, the person watching. You should feel bad, at you should feel ashamed of yourself. That's disgusting behavior. That's disrespectful. You shouldn't be laughing at this type of stuff. 